welcome to SW. My name is Aline Fries. My name is Florian Fiedler and I'm a project engineer of SW Germany. Florian and I are standing here at the production floor of SW in Waldmössing. So don't mind the noise in the background, we didn't stop the production just for this video. But it's important for us to stand here really in front of the space three because you see here a battery housing and I'm here to interview Florian about some details. Florian, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this workpiece. Yeah, um, battery housings are the future. Battery housings are produced for electronic mobility. Means uh, there are smaller sizes, 300 millimeters for mild hybrids, up to bigger sizes for plug-in and full hybrid cars. They can be one, one and a half meters big. And finally, the big size parts we talk about today are battery housings for electronic cars. What is the process usually for a workpiece like that, like in the general overview? Uh, battery housings are the future. Uh, battery housings are mainly produced for electronic cars. Um, you got smaller of them, 300 millimeters for mild hybrids, back to bigger of them, uh, up to 800 millimeters, or even bigger for plug-in hybrids and hybrid cars. Or finally, uh, uh, this part representing uh, full electronic cars, which is uh, a weldment design um, for the chassis parts at the floor of a car. Um, Florian, tell us something about the process about of this workpiece. So everything starts with the extrusion process. There's extrusion parts which are sawn, uh, which finally represent then child parts, um, which, which are machined, then welded uh, to a semi-finished part, and then again machined, welded, uh, weld the weldment of the side wings, which finally gets us uh, the finished part, which is then machined as well to the high accuracy in one of our machines. The second step of the process is the so-called semi-finished semi part, which, which represents the bottom plate and as well the cross beams. They are welded together and then mainly machined on the side faces to prepare these faces for the final weldment of the side wings, front and rear. The typical cycle time of these semi-finished part is pretty long. We're talking about 28 minutes per part. That's a pretty, needs to be pretty precise, correct? Maybe you could talk about that a little bit as well? Uh, yes, uh, in precision we're talking about, uh, first of all, uh, high accuracy of our machine with uh, has a precision tolerance of 8 microns inside and as well that uh, these parts are, need to be precise because they are chassis and they are um, screwed in principle to the back of the car and very important as well with regards any uh, crashes or if anything happens to the to the car so it is safety related and they need to be very accurate. How do we make sure that the part is really precise because we talk about welding processes in between that makes it you know not super accurate all the time how do we make sure that the holes and the screws are at the correct spot? Exactly this is one of the challenging uh, things in these parts. Uh, first of all uh, very important is the clamping. The clamping can be either, either done hydraulically in these parts or what we prefer is a vacuum clamping. Means there is vacuum nozzle at the back sides on uh, many many areas uh, which hold down the part and then it's blocked hydraulically to left and right side. So this is the first thing to really get a good accuracy. But finally, as you already said, after the welding process, uh, these uh, cross beams and side wings, they are not accurate into position into the part because uh, weldment always means uh, a certain uh, yeah, inaccuracy, so to say. Mm -hmm. However, we use a probe for this. First of all, we probe the plate. And then we probe each of the side beams. Finally, these data are presented to the NC, which then copes with the data and mills these crossbars to the right dimension. Um, afterwards, we probe the sides, left and right, to ensure that all the, the, the bores are drilled to the center of these crossbars. That's all really complex and there's a lot to consider in this process. How do we make sure, you know, throughout the whole production that this all is going well and the piece at the end of the work piece at the end is a high precise part? Yeah, as we already said, um, we're not only talking about single machine. We're talking about machines which are combined to a cell or which are combined to a line. 
throughout uh, many automated uh, robots and uh, things. However, um, we can provide a complete uh, system to the customer. Means we are not only providing uh, service, so we're not providing the machines and the robots. We as well, we will as well provide a SCADA system, which is in principle an integrated system, which can show you on screens, monitors around the cell, in uh, which which state the parts are, how is your production running, is there anything you need to consider like maintenance, uh, like changing tools, or is there something wrong which can straight on, spot on monitor uh, on these screens. Florian is mentioning a really great point that is really special for SW as well, the data analytics. So uh, IDS, that's the SCADA program is coming from our industrial data services, has a lot of other products as well that will help making sure the product is precise and the machine stays on top of the technology. Um, Florian, what else is there to say to um, why people also decide or why our customers decide to buy SW machines and why is SW a good machine for this specific work piece? Um, as already said, um, especially the BA Space 3 as well as the smaller brothers are designed for bigger parts. Um, the uh, machine is designed with linear motors, means we are reaching up to 120 meters in rapid speed. We have an acceleration of 1G, which is more than 10 met meters per square second. Um, the machine is designed so that it can be loaded in front parallel to the machining inside. Um, all these features enable a high productivity to a very, very small footprint. Uh, this is the major uh, advantages to our customers. I think that's a good overview about the, the Space 3, also the BAW08 for this specific workpiece. Thank you, Florian, for giving us the insight. Um, if you have any more questions, Florian is happy to answer them. Reach out to us, send us an email. Um, I'm sure he's happy to see some of your workpieces on his table soon. And uh, we will try to find the best solution for you and your workpiece. Thank you. Thank you very much.